I don't want to talk so much. This is so awesome, y'all. You just don't know. Look how beautiful this is. No, you cannot live with me now, Sean. Uh, this is Sean with RecPro.com and we are very fortunate today to be in the beautiful Class A motorhome of Sandy and Mark Ellingson. And uh, they just installed some RecPro furniture. So uh, first of all, thank you very much for sitting down with, uh, with RecPro. I appreciate it. And uh, also, you want to talk about the furniture that you just installed in your uh, motorhome? Wow. It was complete and total difference. We had two couches that did not match. One was leather and was very nice and very comfortable. The other was cloth. I was never happy with it. Um, we were led to believe that we had to take our slides off to get the furniture out. And so for a couple of years, we just kept thinking, sometime we're gonna get the, the slides out so we can get rid of this horrible furniture. And so then when I met Matt and he said, no, that's really not the way it works and we think we can do this and i saw the furniture it was like wow and one of the first things i always do is check the website and the comments and literally it was hard to find anything but a five star rating on you guys so not only am i so excited because it's so beautiful but i know it's going to last okay so you you've traveled quite a bit is there um, are there some things that you guys ran into out on the road where you're like, wow, this was not what the films in class sold to us about the forest or, you know, this monument is not as big as what they, they said or has it just all been... The, the one with the president's heads carved on it. What is it? Rushmore. Rushmore. Um, that was, it was, my really expectations different. were different. And so, to me, it was literally what you saw on the postcard was it. I mean, we, we enjoyed going there. There was some nice trails you could walk around, but it was really anticlimactic. It was just, it, the postcard said it all. And so there really didn't feel like there was anything to experience, right? But, That's why I'm saying you've been there. Yeah, but there was other places that we've been to where we saw pictures and you know it was the exact opposite it was like wow this is way more than what what we ever thought right. so but but then it just in general camping it's really hard to find the right places to stay because there's no universal language for what is a campground what is a resort what is an rv park mm -hmm. and you just never know what you're going to find and so with national parks and, and places of interest, those are usually okay. It's really just in your day-to-day -day travels where you run into more problems. So, you know, like me, I'm pretty social. I want to get out, run around, talk to everybody. Where have you been? You know, what some great camping places? And they're like, we don't camp. We stay right here. So if we go into parks where there's too much of that, there's not enough socialization for me. So I would really like a better naming system for, you know, let's say if it says it's a campground, it's a campground. If it says it's a park, you know that that park may have more long-term people than transients. All right, so when you were making your choice, uh, choice of uh, Rec Pro furniture, was there any difficulty in picking what you wanted? Yes, there was because I was completely and totally unsure what color to go with because this is something we'll live with for a while. And we had the more creamy beige before and so did I need to go back with that even though it really wasn't my favorite. I knew I didn't really want to go with a, a dark brown because we've got darker colors in here and that would close it in. But it's really hard when you look at the gray tone to know how gray really is that until you get it in a space. It could look very light or it could look very dark. And so, and then, so I was like, I really, I thought, okay, 
I'm gonna try and play it safe and I'm gonna go with more like a tan color. That, that way you know it's not gonna look too dark because I was afraid the gray might look too dark. But what I really wanted was the gray. <laughs> and so I said, no, I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go with this. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It looks so good. <laughs> It looks so good. <laughs> well, you know, really next time tell us how you really feel. I will. My I will. Listen, I am very much, uh, Mark is very quality driven. I am very, I'm a cheapskate because my dad is a CPA and he raised me to squeak every penny. A lot of my career has been spent working with nonprofits where we squeak every penny. So, there's been this battle between us about, okay, we could just go to Ikea and buy something really cheap and stick it in here, right? Would it ever be what I really wanted? No. Would it be better than what we had? Yes. And so then when I came here and I saw the quality of what you're getting for the price, it literally satisfied both of us. Now, I won't say it's cheap. It's not Ikea furniture for sure. But what you're getting, the price for the quality, is unbelievable. And this is, I just can tell you, absolutely, it's the right choice. I'm so excited! I'm, like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. You can cut that. No, no. Uh, if you're going to remodel your motorhome, come talk to Rec Pro first. Oh my gosh. So many great ideas, and nobody is paying me to say this. And, and if you were paying me, I wouldn't say it because it has to come from my heart and that's what i feel this this entire company is amazing and i haven't met a single person that i haven't just fallen in love with and want to take with me so <laughs> <laughs> well thank you thank you so much uh for joining us uh, all three of you and we're glad you like your furniture and uh you know um yeah ladies and gentlemen that was the ellingsons yeah.